Let's shadowing. Slow speed. In Rwanda, less than 15% of the population has access to electricity. In rural areas, it can be as low as 1%. In order to increase Rwanda's energy capacity, a 17-hectare solar field with 28,000 panels was constructed in six months in 2014 by private power companies. It is East Africa's first large-scale commercial solar field, bringing in 8.5 megawatts of power at its peak. 4% of the country's total power capacity. The project has brought power to more than 15,000 homes. We are living in the world and we have to contribute to or eradicate or eliminate polluting the atmosphere, said Twaha Twagirimana, plant supervisor for Skatex Solar, which operates the project. We need energy and we need clean energy. Twagirimana said this investment in solar power is a step toward reducing global warming. Rwanda's power grid relies heavily on diesel fuel, which is expensive and bad for the environment. According to Skatex Solar, the solar field reduces carbon dioxide emissions by 8,000 tons per year. Natural speed. In Rwanda, less than 15% of the population has access to electricity. In rural areas, it can be as low as 1%. In order to increase Rwanda's energy capacity, a 17 hectare solar field with 28,000 panels was constructed in six months in 2014 by private power companies. It is East Africa's first large scale commercial solar field bringing in 8.5 megawatts of power at its peak, 4% of the country's total power capacity. The project has brought power to more than 15,000 homes. We are living in the world and we have to contribute to or eradicate or eliminate polluting the atmosphere, said Twaha Twagirimana, plant supervisor for Skatex Solar, which operates the project. We need energy and we need clean energy. Twagirimana said this investment in solar power is a step toward reducing global warming. Rwanda's power grid relies heavily on diesel fuel, which is expensive and bad for the environment. According to Skatex Solar, the solar field reduces carbon dioxide emissions by 8,000 tons per year.